Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the show that gives you all that extra material you need to really appreciate the Exile 6E webisodes. Today I'm very happy to introduce one of our interns for this fall, Jan Lochek. Welcome. Thank you. So did I pronounce your name correctly this time? Yes, you did. Okay. And you are one of the few people actually from the Western Europeans who do. Because you're not from Western Europe. And now I'm from Central Europe, but since I arrived to Brussels, uh, people pretty much tend to see me as Eastern European because we, the Slavic people, are seen as Eastern Europeans here. So to be more precise, you're from the Czech Republic? Czech Republic, yes. Where in the Czech Republic? Uh, Prague. It's very boring to be from Prague, not from some nice countryside or some interesting region, only Prague, the capital. Well, half of your population is from Prague or something like that. So. Uh, it's one tenth. It's not like this. Although the Russian says that the Czech Republic itself is uh, one city and not a country. Because when you compare the size of these countries, it's pretty well, much like Well, fortunately, you're in Belgium, so they will probably not start comparing sizes. <laughs> and if so, you can always go to Luxembourg. Yeah. So, uh, you've been with us for roughly a month. And uh, during your second week, uh, we portrayed you in the second episode of XL6E. Uh, and we're going to look at that clip right now. And, and then you can comment on if, if you actually think that it's, it's a correct portrayal of, of you. Sure. So, let's go to that clip. My name is Jan Lozek. I am 27 years old and I am from the Czech private community, going to work here for Amelia as an intern. I've been tasked to maintain a communication between Amelia's office and the pirate parties throughout Europe. I'm looking forward to learn a lot from the European Parliament as well as from the European parties throughout the continent. Okay, so what do you think? Well, first of all, I, I had a problem to say pretty much more than I'm going to learn a lot from the pirate parties and pirate communities and this wonderful thing called European Parliament. But in the past weeks and month, I have to say, my, percep my uh, whole perception of how our things we are doing here changed a bit. Especially for the better or for the worse? For the better, because well, it, in the I'm beginning right. I was afraid when it comes to organizing the events and uh, communicating with uh, so many people that it will end in the way that there will be 50 people waiting in front of the parliament having problems to get inside because some might fall. But having some, having some uh, meetings organized and having some things done uh, made me more confident in what I'm doing and made me more enjoying it. Also, you learned that you can always blame the administration. Theoretically, yes. Or I can blame uh, some other European organizations, but I'm not, not going to tell which ones because they will be pretty much perhaps watching this show. Well, uh, let's hope so. I always appreciate when we have viewers. But uh, except for organizing events, uh, what have you done here in the parliament so far? Uh, the thing I like is to speak with other people from many other countries. For example, with the Czech pirates, German pirates. I also wanted to speak with Polish pirates and also the pirates from the Balkan countries. And I really, really like to see when I wrote a report or an article to talk with them what should be done, what should be changed. And, and then I can see that the article is in some of their media, the party media, or they, I, I can see that it is, for example, in Pirate Times, and I really like this, because this raised the awareness of the Pirate cause. This raised the awareness of things we are doing here. Because and it ties our work here in the Parliament in with the rest of the Pirate community. Yes. And also brings, brings all the Pirate communities in, uh, in the countries together. Because the pirate, uh, pirate movement throughout Europe is one of the few mo movements in Europe who is truly pan-European. One thing I learned uh, for, from, being, uh, from working with Amelia is that I don't see uh, Amelia anymore like a Swedish MEP. I, saw her, I see her as a pirate MEP from Sweden, and she can be from pretty much any other country. The, goal, the crucial thing is that she is pirate, and she is interested in, the pirate, in the promoting the pirate ideas. Uh, but would you say that the pirate ideas are exactly the same everywhere, or are there still differences? Of, I mean, course, there, of course there would be differences. I mean, you cannot have the very same politics in Germany, a big country that has much more powerful foreign policy than in tiny Czech Republic, where we have, I like to say Czech Republic is something like five big cities and five valleys. Uh, and I had this experience from uh, one of my, from one of German, uh, German pirates from Saxony, who told me, it, uh, are you in the Czech Republic interesting in like ideas like promoting war or peace or export of guns? And I said like, this is not even a topic for our foreign policy because our foreign policy is so small that we cannot like to even 
promote these ideas because it would be and pretty much you don't have a gun industry in, in your country no no well then that makes a difference as mm -hmm. well uh, you joined me as we saw in one of the episodes uh, me and Amelia to uh, to Luxembourg mm -hmm. for for the European Pirates uh, Party conference could you say something about that trip was there something that we missed to show in, in the episodes? There was something actually we missed to show, and it is something that is closely related to the fact how things work inside of the parliament. It is uh, how everything is so fast here. In the beginning, I was told there is a conference in Luxembourg and we are going to, to sign their charter. And I thought like Luxembourg, it is some part of Belgium because in Brussels we have a plus Luxembourg. And I was told, no, this is a city and a country and the first day, me being in Brussels and going 200 kilometers to another country was, to be honest, quite surprising in a positive sense of way. Uh, but in the end, it was nice to see that there is some platform, some European platform for the pirates that perhaps is going to work and perhaps is going to do the crucial things uh, for the election, for the campaign, for what we want to do. Well, uh, I think we will get back to the elections more in future episode of episodes of both Hacking the Excel and also, of course, Excel 6E. Uh, but if you got to uh, choose, would there be something specific you would like to see in the show in the future? Uh, I mean, that depends what, uh, what the things we are doing and what we are going to do. This is your chance. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting asking for, for ideas and I'm pretty sure that Juni, who films, will be happy to get them as well. well what would you add to the show? Bunnies? Kittens. Uh, no bunnies, no Easter eggs will make it more funny, and definitely it will not ma uh, make it funny any childish music like we saw in the previous previous seasons of Exile 6 Okay, so what would you add? I would add... Um, <laughs> that's a good question. Dragons? No dragons, but perhaps something more of a sense of a community, mm -hmm. of sense of bonding pirates together. Uh, and speaking about this, yes, we can add, for example, ponies, but I'm afraid this would make a lot of uh, pirates that are not belonging to the Bronies community very, very angry. Could, could be, could be. Could raise the viewers, though. There's a big community out there. Okay, so we, we should go slow on the ponies. Anything else? Community. So basically bringing more different pirates into the show, showing, showing the viewers yes, that it's... Yes, definitely, definitely this. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities when the pirates from nearby countries like but Germany... But we did that with the Tempora episode. We did this with the Tempora episode where, for the signing. So Good. there have been these episodes. Of course, but we had also Freedom Not Fear, which was a very, very interesting and influential event. But uh, unfortunately, there were no interviews with other pirates from other countries like Germany, Luxembourg, France, and so on. Yeah. The interesting thing about Belgium is it is such a big crossroad of all the only Western European, but still many nations. And you can meet pretty much a lot of people around here. So I think this, is a, this might be a good idea. Well, we will definitely take it with us when we contemplate how to develop the show for uh, what might be the last season, depending on how we want to do it mm -hmm. after the elections. So, uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you all for viewing. We will be back again in two weeks. See you then.